Hi, I'm Chef Roy Shot. Today I'm going to show you how to make pan seared turkey chops and pan gravy. You'll be able to find everything you need in the description box below, as well as the pop ups in the video. Also, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. Please comment and subscribe. Let's go ahead and start this recipe. Turkey chops, and I um, trimmed all the fat from them, and I kind of just cut them down in similar pieces. Evenly sprinkle both sides with salt and pepper. So, both sides. So I'm putting my um, skillet here on high. Into it I'm going to add a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And two teaspoons of butter. You can use salted or unsalted. I'm using unsalted. Okay, so I got my flame back onto medium high. Now I'm going to just place the cutlets into the pan. Three to four minutes on both sides. And mine are about a quarter inch thick. So I'm going to cook these for about three minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so it's been three minutes and I'm going to swirl the pan a little bit so the butter is starting to brown. Just to kind of brush the butter against the sides of the turkey chops. So I'm going to flip it. And let this cook for another three minutes. Okay, I'm going to just turn the heat off. Just so I can check the temperature. I'm not going to push it all the way through because I don't want to touch the pan. This needs to be 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So this one is done. I'm going to allow the other one to cook for a couple more minutes. Turn the flame back on to medium. You don't want to cook these too long because they dry out very quickly. Okay, so I'm going to take this out the pan. I did check the temp at 165, so cook the remaining the same way. I'm just going to add in two more teaspoons of butter and the oil. All my turkey chops are done. I'm going to show you the next step. So first I'm going to add three tablespoons of butter. I'm going to take a wooden spoon and I'm just going to scrape the brown bits as much as I can off this uh, pan. But I don't want to allow this to burn either. Just try to scrape off as much as you can. Then I'm going to add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I'm going to um, just mix into the flour. Stirring the flour and the butter, I'm scraping the pan at the same time. Because all those brown bits are actually flavored. So I'm going to turn the flame down because I don't want this to burn. And I didn't add all the flour at one time either. So 
I'm going to turn the heat back up now. Get the flame back on medium high. I'm going to turn the flame to low just for a second. I have some herbs, some fresh herbs that I trimmed from my herb garden. So I have some um, two teaspoons of rosemary, uh, two teaspoons of chives, and um, two and a half teaspoons of parsley. Just gonna mix that in real quick. And I turned this on low because I didn't want this to burn. Then I'm going to pour in a cup of water. And then I'm gonna to switch to a whisk. This is a quick mix. And to hit it with a little bit of salt. It's about a quarter teaspoon. About a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Turn my flame back up. I'm gonna just keep whisking this. To, um, I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it because it's a little thicker than what I want, but I'm gonna taste it just to see if I need to adjust the seasoning. Seasoning is perfect. I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of water. Now I'm going to add in about two teaspoons of garlic powder. You can use fresh garlic if you do. It's just a teaspoon of um, fresh garlic. That's mixed. Now I'm going to place the turkey chops back into the um, pan gravy. Allow the turkey chops to submerge into the gravy. This will dry out all the rest of the remaining juices and it's going to further flavor the gravy. Okay, cook this for about five minutes. And here are the turkey chops. As you see, they are nice, the, the pan gravy st stuck to them. And they're very delicious and they're extremely tender. I hope you guys give this recipe a go. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Please also follow me on the social networks on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You'll find that at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.